hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel as discussed in the last video uh, i have already explained the detailed output differences between order by and sort of sort by query and in this particular video we are going to see uh, the in the similar way uh, basically what is the difference between the outputs given by a distributed by query and the cluster by query so let's get started so basically this is my high terminal and I'm just going to replace this sort by query with the distributed by query. So select star from country underscore capital uh, distribute by country. Okay. So I'm just running this. Uh, so as, as you know, it is going to trigger uh, the MapReduce job. But in the meantime, it gives us the output. If you have not seen my uh, the previous video. So make sure you just go through that particular video because uh, the detailed data set that what kind of data is present in this country underscore capital table. I have just given a gist of it in that particular video tutorial. Okay, so uh, we have the output of distribute by query. Let me just quickly copy that. So this is the output of output given by the distributed by query let's simultaneously run the cluster by query as well i'll explain you but let's just start the uh, query so i'm just replacing the distribute by clause with the cluster by and i'm running this query now in the meantime let's understand the output given by the distributed by query so if you see this particular output the way data set is order is entirely different like we are seeing a altogether a different output when we are when we have executed the distribute by query right so the way it has been triggered is so if you see these uh, the outputs given by the sort by and order by is on the basis of alphabetical orders of uh, the columns which you have given in the order by or sort by clause but in the distributed by in the output given by your distributed clause query it doesn't have you know uh, ordered your data set based on what kind of uh, you know the uh, traditional ordering uh, columns that we have instead basically the fundamentals on which distribute by uh, query works is like on whichever data set or whichever column on which you have applied the distribute by column it just makes sure that all the similar values of of that particular column will go to the same reducer so in this case let's say we have two reducers so the values with united states of america united kingdom italy india france so it will just make sure that all the equal values so let's say in this particular uh, you know data set we have two rows where country name country underscore name is let's say india so what distribute by query or what distribute uh, distribute by clause will make sure is all the values where a country is equal to India will go to the similar reducer. But in that case, it doesn't guarantee any kind of ordering mechanism or it doesn't guarantee any kind of sorting algorithm that has been applied. It will just throw the output the in whichever way it will get it. It will not apply any kind of sorting on the outputs given by your reducer. So that's why if you really observe the output given by a distribute by query, there is no sorting, there is no ordering that has been applied on the data set or whichever column on which you have ran this particular clause. There is nothing specific. There is no specific ordering. There is no specific sorting that has been applied. So it works on a little different principle that if you have similar, you know, similar values, then it will just make sure that it will go to the one single reducer, right? So that is, this is the principle on the basis of which distribute by query works. But on the same lines, let's say you want the similar functionality, but on the top of it, you wanted to apply some kind of ordering on that data set as well, right? So basically you can achieve this particular thing that 
you wanted to use the principle on which distribute by works but on the top of it additionally you want your data set to be ordered in certain way so what you have to do is you have to along with the distribute by clause you might have to use the sort by clause as well right so basically let's try to see one more thing uh, i'll copy this cluster by output for you but before explaining the cluster by i would like to show you one more query which is let's say distribute by country and sort by again the same column let's see what output we see so select star from country underscore capital distribute by country sort by country okay so it has executed this uh, MapReduce program so let's wait uh, till the time we see some kind of result of this query right so it has given us this particular output let me just you know highlight it for you now let's try to compare this output with the cluster by output uh, that we have just copied onto the notepad so united kingdom is the first united states of america france india italy right so united kingdom which is the first united states of america france india italy france india italy so if you see the output given by the cluster by by clause is exactly same as that of the output given by when we applied two clauses on the similar data set which is distributed by in a combination in a combination with sort by clause so the meaning of this particular thing the reason why i uh, ran this you know combined uh, clause query which is distributed by plus sort by is to just showcase you the cluster by query is kind of the similar way uh, this works so basically if you wanted to you know remember how the cluster by query work will be it is going to be the combination of distribute by plus sort by is equal to so in a in a mathematical way let's say if you wanted to remember cluster by is going to be you know cluster by clause will give you the similar output if you write the query in distributed by using the distributed by clause along with sort by clause right so distribute by plus sort by is going to be equal equivalent to the cluster by so in a in a nutshell right if you wanted to have some kind of ordering on the top of the output given by your distribute by query you have to sort it then you know you should make sure that you are uh, using the cluster by clause if there are no requirements if your requirement of your problem statement or requirement for which you are writing the query is just you just have to just make sure that all the values on the top of which you are applying your distribute by clause should go to a one single reducer uh, irrespective of from which mapper it is coming you should apply distribute by query but at the same time distribute by clause doesn't guarantee any kind of sortering on the top of the result sets given by uh, the output of that query but if you wanted to have some kind of order ordering on the top of it just make sure you are using cluster by query which will give you the equivalent output uh, if you would have ran uh, distributed uh, distribute by in addition in combination with sort by uh, clause i hope uh, this particular example uh, which i have given in terms of actually by actually executing the queries and you know putting outputs in front of you and then explaining would have given you better clarity on how it internally works because there was you know few request i got on my channel uh, to explain the detailed working differences or uh, you know how the output changes if we apply these four kind of you know data sorting ordering uh, mechanisms that are available in hive i hope this would have clarified your doubts and you know you got uh, to know the internals about how these things work uh, in hive thank you very much thanks for this particular request and uh, keep watching and keep sharing thank you very much bye